Amen. 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 We dedicate this door in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to commit this house unto you. That everybody who be entering this door shall be blessed. That their feet that enters here be blessed, O King of glory. We pray for the protection from all the snares of the enemy. Those who come to destroy our lives, we denounce them now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say, this is the house of your servant, whom have started with you, and that your protection. You tell us that unless the Lord protect the city, them that protect do it in vain. And therefore we call upon you, O God Almighty, to be the protector of this house, that everybody will be, will be saved, and God Almighty, your name will be glorified. We also pray for the activity that goes in this house. Father, may they bring glory and honor to your home, to your people, King of Glory. We also pray for the owners of this house as they follow this service and as you bless us, O King of Glory, let them also be blessed so that your name will be glorified. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> We are anointed with the anointing oil, the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As they represent all other rooms in this mansion, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We bless and educate it. This anointing oil, the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the anointed one, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. But otherwise, we are grateful that you come to share with us. What I can leave you with is uh, the current situation is that uh, people are becoming afraid of associating with the church. People are becoming afraid of associating, especially leaders, associating with the church and associating with God because when uh, you associate with the church too closely, they say you are following in the footsteps of William Root. Uh, it's not just the president, but very many leaders have shown a lot of disdain for the church and they've made a church uh, a place where young people don't want to go. So when you go to churches, you find, you know, older people. But young people are staying at home. They don't want to go to church because they don't see it as a, as a, as a rock of ages where they can ride and hide and be safe. And they don't see it as a fountain of justice. And they don't see it as a source of truth. And that is exactly what the enemy wants us to do. He wants to create as much, as, as much disrespect as he can for the church so that we don't worship God. But you know, everything we have now is because there's a God in heaven. In fact, even those who say they don't worship God, when they are invo involved in an accident, the first thing they say is, Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. You know, And they say, This God, they don't worship him. We, we are proud of the God that we worship. We are not ashamed of him. And in fact, in everything we do, we want him to be glorified. We want to decrease as he increases. We want God to be seen in every single thing that we do because he's the source of our values. Everything we say we are, integrity, honesty, transparency, accountability, those are the values of God. They're not the values of men. So all those things that we want, we have them because God is there. So let's worship this God truly. And I hope, you know, since I'm a young person and many young people in our country, including older people, but mostly young people, look up to me, I'll, I'd like to convince them by, by reason of my living that this God is worth being worshipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so to carry myself with a lot of dignity and honor to the extent <coughs> that they also want to worship the God that I worship. Mm -hmm. And that is my mission actually. Mm -hmm. My mission is to bring back honor to the name of God and to leadership in our country, to bring back accountability and integrity.